they're soft, they're chocolate, they're vanilla, and they have a positive message of unity, they're black and white cookies! In your mixing bowl, add three quarter cup of butter and one and a half cup of sugar. Make sure you mix that until it's nice and creamy. To that, we're gonna add two eggs at room temperature one at a time and make sure they're well incorporated. Beat that uh, until it's nice and creamy and smooth. Don't eat it because it's got raw eggs. I'm watching you, mister. Then add your dry ingredients, which is two and a half cups of flour, one teaspoon of salt, and one teaspoon of baking soda. Mix that together well so it's nice and incorporated. And then let's move on to our wet ingredients, which is two thirds cup of buttermilk, one teaspoon of vanilla, and two tablespoons of fresh lemon juice. Fresh does make a difference in this. Don't use that bottled weird stuff. Then we're going to add that to our buttercream mixture. We're gonna do a little bit of the flour mixture and then a little bit of the buttermilk. A little bit of the flour, a little bit of the buttermilk. A little bit of, okay, we're done with that, right? But you get it. Just go back and forth until it's well combined. And once that's well combined, you will have such a soft, fluffy dough that is gonna be perfect for our cookies. Put those on a grease sheet and you need to get your hands nice and moist and pat those bad boys down. If you don't pat them down, your cookies will look just how they look when you plop them onto the tray. It'll be hilarious. After you get these patted out into the shape that you want them, put them in the oven at 350 for 13 minutes. Don't go too long, but make sure they're, see how it's a little browned around the edges and when you touch it, they're firm. That's what you're looking for. Now let's make the chocolate. First half a cup of heavy cream, microwave that for a minute and then put one cup of dark chocolate chips or semi-sweet chocolate chips, whichever one you like. Put that into that warm, heavy cream and let it sit for about two, three minutes. Then add one tablespoon of corn syrup, half a teaspoon of vanilla, and then we're going to start to mix this around. This makes such a yummy topping to this already yummy cookie. Don't just drink that. I had to make another one because I drank it. Actually, I didn't drink it. Okay, I drank it. Okay, I didn't drink it. But it would make this nice sauce that's gonna go on top of our cookie. And then add about a teaspoon of butter to it so it's nice and shiny. Next is our white frosting, which is one and a half cups of powdered sugar and two tablespoons of corn syrup. And then a touch of vanilla, about a quarter teaspoon. And then four tablespoons of heavy cream. You're gonna wanna mix that together until it's nice and smooth and spreadable. Now I do the white first, it's easier. It doesn't get into the chocolate as much as the chocolate gets into the white. So spread that on half the cookie, nice and even, put it on a rack, and then do the chocolate. I know you can't see it, but I am doing it. And do that until you got all your cookies covered. These are so good, you're gonna love your cookies. And they're so positive.